Hello guys, it's Wen from obonch.com and today I will teach you guys how to use Postman to send request and fetch data in JSON format. For this tutorial, I be using PHP and I will create a small script to demonstrate how you can create your own APIs and use Postman to test them. So first of all, you need to download Postman from Google Chrome extensions. I already have it installed so I'll just launch the extension once you have launched the extension you will see an interface like this on the left side you have history collection for example if you have a lot of API's that you want to work with you can create a collection then you have an environment for example you have the local that I created then I have the live so here I created the local test for the key I gave URL and the value I gave localhost then in live obons I gave the URL and then the actual URL of the live website now if I want to test on my local server I can give local test or if I want to test on my live server I can click live obons. For this demonstration I will be sending a post request to my PHP script using the URL parameter that we just provided. Now since we don't have a test.php script already on our PC, it will give us an object not found 404 error. So now I'll create a temporary script. As you can see, you have a response that we gave from the PHP script. Now let us create a JSON formatted response that your clients can use. Now first of all, we need to know why we have to create an API. Now usually most people create APIs because they want their clients to use them. For example, if an Android app wants to get results from your database they will send a request to your api and the api will then give them a response that they can read and that format is json format you can also send them responses in xml format but for this tutorial i'll be using json format so let's just create an array status codes Let's say one is your successful status code, then you have a message, data successfully found. Then you have your actual data from your database, for example, any kind of results that you want to give. XYZ, DEF, RDT. Let's say these are your results from a database and you have given them in the JSON response. Now, first of all, let's just see how the array format looks like. Now you can see this is the array format, and obviously, this is not useful because the clients cannot read this type of format we need to change it to something more readable using the json encode function
Now you can see the data has been transferred to JSON format. You can also use the JSON parser in Postman to see the response type. Now one thing you need to note is when you check the headers, you can see the content type is HTML, which is fine, it works. But my recommendation is if you are working with JSON type of responses, you need to give them a proper response in JSON format. And for that, you need to just Google up how to send content type JSON. And now you can see the content type has been changed to JSON. This is the proper way of sending any kind of response in JSON format. You can see the status code has been 200. You can also block requests using 500, 403, stuff like that. And this is very useful if you want to create AJAX requests, any kind of request to the server. You can create websites in Angular and send requests to these type of APIs. So yeah, that's it for today, I think. My name is Suen, I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. Bye-bye.